So when I first get in the water, it's murky. And as you keep going, it slowly opens up. You have these mountains on both sides of you, but of coral. These living animals. And as you keep going, you you hear crunching noises. Parrotfish eating the algae off coral. You hear snapping shrimp, you hear little pops and crackles. You also just hear, kind of just hear the water movement. You're in the fish's world now. You get to see what they see. And that's why I love the water. I went to Kahalu'u Elementary School, King Intermediate, and Castle High School, which is all on the bay here. So Kaneohe Bay has been my home for a very long time. When I first started at UH, I was undecided as the, like that was my major, undecided. And I spent my entire undergraduate career trying to figure out what I'm interested in. And it turns out I'm interested in everything. It basically came down to, let's just take advantage of every single opportunity you can find and make that your education, make it experiential learning. We hear a lot about how climate change is affecting the big animals like whales and sharks and things like that. But what we don't normally hear about is how climate change is affecting the invertebrates, the smaller animals that live in the reefs, the animals you don't see. If you're underwater and you hear that popcorn noise like snapping and crackling, that's actually a tiny shrimp. When fish hatch out of their little eggs and they go into the world, they're actually listening. They're listening to the healthy sounds of a reef. So if they listen to snapping shrimp, this large bioacoustic presence that happened on the reef kind of send a cue to fish, hey, this is a healthy reef. This is somewhere we should settle. That's why you tend to see more fish on healthy reefs. And so when I had to design a senior thesis for my degree at University of Hawaii Manoa, I chose to do the regenerative rates of snapping shrimp claws under conditions of ocean acidification. If ocean acidification makes it harder for snapping shrimp to regenerate these claws, they can't snap. You don't hear that sound. It's harder for fish to find a productive reef. We work really hard out here at HIMB to protect the ocean. And it's my job, my responsibility, to help pass on the responsibility to the future generations. To have more people love the ocean and want to take care of it. <laughs>